In this tutorial, we will look at how you can schedule office hours for multiple classes. In this situation, I scheduled office hours or class meetings, but this is only in one classroom and within a channel of that class. So what I'm going to have to do if I want to create a meeting like office hours for multiple classes to attend, I am actually going to get out of the Teams app. I'm going to go to office.com, sign in, and then I'm going to click on Outlook because I want to go to Outlook and utilize my calendar. So when you go to Outlook, you need to make sure you're clicked on the calendar down here. And then here you want to create your new event. So you're going to click New Event. You're going to give it the title. So this will be Office Hours. And you can set your date and time that you want to start this. So let's say your Office Hours will be every day from 2 to 4.30. That's good there. Now under repeat, this is nice because you can customize this. So you could either say um, every day or you could say custom. And you could actually mark the specific days that you want this to occur. Maybe you're only doing office hours Monday through Thursday. If you're doing it Monday through Friday, mark all days. And notice the uh, end date. So until November 13th, 2020, if you want, you can bump that up as far as you'd like to go out. Maybe we'll go out to the end of the school year. Okay. And I'll save that. Now, this is the most important thing. Make sure you click this toggle switch to make sure it's a Teams meeting. That will give you the meeting link and allow you to actually utilize the Teams meeting tool. Here in the description, you might want to let them know um, what this is about, that this is for office hours, and you'll be in the meeting, and they can join in to ask questions and get support. Now, under Invite Attendees, you don't have to add your specific students or classes. That's the beauty of this. So now what we're going to do is come up here and click Save, because we don't have the Join Meeting link yet. So first you save it. Now what you'll see here is that you have this scheduled out, happening every day at the same time. This is a recurring event. Now we're going to go ahead and double click on this and open it up. You can click on any one of them. And now here you have your Join Microsoft Teams meeting link. And so all you have to do here is right click and copy this link. And we're going to close this. Now I'm going to navigate back to my class team. And what I can do is make a channel called Office Hours. And I can, in this new conversation, I can make a big post here. We'll make this a big announcement that we have office hours and we are going to let everybody know that they can click here to join the office hours meeting or however you want to word that. And I will create a hyperlink on click here. Up in my toolbar, I'm going to choose hyperlink. And I'm going to paste that join link that I had taken from the event. And so now that's a hyperlink. I will send this off so it's posted. So now my students in this class can come in and click into office hours and see well, there's the link to join. And they simply will click there. The Teams meeting app will load and they'll be able to join now. 
And now what you want to do is repeat this in all your classes. So you need to go to all teams and find the next team and go to that office hours channel and go ahead and do the same thing where you're going to create an announcement and you're going to post the link in here. Just repeat that for all the classes you teach that you want to attend those office hours. Now, the other thing you're going to want to do before you start having these is you're going to want to set your meeting options for that event. So again, you can open any of these uh, events. And what you're going to see here is a link called meeting options. This is where you can set your meeting options so that you are the presenter and everyone else is attendees. Another great thing you can do is set who can bypass the lobby. This is kind of nice. If you select only me, then what happens is students will wait in a lobby before joining the meeting and you will admit them one by one so they can get into the meeting. This also prevents them from starting the meeting before you do. Now, the other one here is who can present. Make sure you set this to only me so that only you can present. Now, remember, you can always uh, make a student a presenter during the meeting if you want them to share their screen, for example. And we're going to save that and we're going to be all done.